Right, so if the reverse lights aren't working, the beepers aren't working, um, if you check the fuse and the fuse is okay, it's probably this thing here, which um, sits on the top of the gearbox. When you go into reverse, it pushes this little um, ball bearing up and um, turns the lights on. So that lives just beneath the airbox. So we're going to take the airbox off and then I'll just show you how to change this very easy. Let's take out the plug. And then just undo this clip. And then we just pull out the airbox from there. Just be careful, there's a, another pipe on the back there, so we don't want to damage that. And just lift it up, rest it on the engine. Okay, I'll just do the long shot there so you can get your bearings and see where it is. But it's basically just underneath where the airbox sits. So if you look through the side there, you can see it right down there in the center of the screen. I'm going to pull off the plug and then I'm going to undo that, and that should come out. So I just got the electrical connection off. This is one of these clips where it has a little tab at the top there, so you have to reach in just on the top of the um, top of the connector. There's a little tab. Just push that in and then pull up. Um, if you don't know, that's there. It's going to be very fiddly to do. It's, it's not one of those squeeze ones or anything like that. Um, so yeah, just reach in, push push that little end tab in, and then just pull it out, and that'll save you a lot of bother there. So this is what I'm using to reach down and get the um, switch out because it's quite restricted access. Got the uh, got the ratchet there, extension bar, and a 22 mil deep socket there because uh, it's, it's very tight. It's probably a bit too tight for a spanner. So what I'm going to do, you see that down there? I'm just going to reach in, put it over the top. It will actually go over the top of the connector, and then I can undo um, undo the switch like this. Obviously, be very careful not to short out your battery with this one. All right, so that's loose. I'm just going to reach in there. Still got the socket on it. Reach in there and then the switch will come out. Like so, there we go. I'm just going to put the new one in finger tight and then I'll reach in again with the extension bar and just do it up, not too tight. Um, put the um, connector back on the electrical connector and just um, sort of reverse uh, what you did with uh, taking off the airbox and then we should be up and running. Alright so that's a new part on there. I'm just going to quickly go and check that everything's working before I put the airbox back on. Um, so the van is in reverse. Um, I'm looking to hear the beepers so hopefully we'll hear the beepers when I turn the ignition on. There we go so we know it's all working and um, yeah that's how you do it.